Um, so I want to go back and see who last talked. Okay, so Annie talks. So now Jack is talking. What does Jack say? Uh, Hi. So yeah, not kotoba, kotoba. Super similar looking. This you you've seen before. What does it mean? Uh, to say, but it doesn't have that content. Yes, it 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 does mean to say. When it's used like this, a lot it's trying to use it as a grammar point, basically. So rather than directly quoting somebody saying something, which is what it's telling us with the kanji, this is kanji is used when it's like a direct quote, like you said. You um tends to be more metaphorical, but it's the same kind of meaning involved in that. So toyu koto basically means in other words. In other so, words, okay. Yeah, toyu koto. So he's basically saying, so that's the same as toyu is like the quote something, but normally whatever is quoted is not there. So it's kind of like an insinuated toyu koto wa. The thing that was said, it's dot dot dot. So mm. toyu koto wa altogether is in other words. In other words. So that right there is like a example of similar words, but not a direct translation into English. Yeah. So you could the what you, the thing that you were saying, the thing that is said would be. It's, it's kind of what the Japanese version is, which sounds like nonsense in English because we say in other words, which would sound yeah. nonsense to someone in Japanese. They're like inside True. of words. What? What? what, what hmm. What's that supposed to mean? Um, so what does Annie say in response to that? Toyu or to, yeah, toyu koto ha, uh, nani? What's this nani? Wait, I see your mic moving, we're not hearing it. Hello. Oh, now I can hear you. Yep. Um, toyu koto ha, nani? So, I want to say what is it, but it's not yeah. what is it. It's pretty good. In other, in other words, what? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Hi. So here's a lot of vocabulary. Do you know what a kubi is? Kubi. Uh, I don't think it's neck, is it? It is neck. It kubi is neck. Is neck. Sometimes mm. kubi, when you're translating, can be in a, a word that can refer to your head. Like kubi o futa means to shake your head in English. But it always means neck, like directly. It's just in Japanese, they say shake your neck, not shake your head. Mm. So kubi is neck. Kubi. Uh, how about hitori? Hitori, uh, single or one person. Yes. Um. So hitori goto doesn't have, it has a different hitori. kanji. However, it's extremely related to hitori in concept. So that's why I wanted this here. Because it's, it's like the sound's the same, but they give us different kanji. Then we have Hitori goto, koto. like from kotoba. Kotoba. What? Kotoba. Ah. Right here. Right there. Yeah. It's also, same kanji of you, of course. But I'm looking for the kotoba. Kotoba. Uh, is it reflection? Kind of looks like it. So reflection is a good guess based on the picture, but I want you to look at the kanji and the words I was talking about. Does reflection make sense for alone words? Uh, not really. Not really. No. So alone, alone words, words, which is hitori alone and koto from kotoba, means um to speak to yourself. Uh, I think uh -huh. like like a monologue, a soliloquy. All those big ass words to mean all by yourself talking. So this guy is talking to himself. <laughs> is why I picked the picture. He's like, ha, nah, 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 to his reflection. Same. So yeah, hitori goto means to speak to yourself, to monologue, basically. How about ya? Uh, no. Nice. And what does kubi mean? Kubi is neck. Nice. You know what hazu means? Hazu. I've heard it many times. Yeah, so Don't it's really know super what it means. common. It's almost a grammar point, but it's kind of it's actually like not a grammar point. It's kind of like it's actually a noun, but a lot of times it'll be taught as grammar point. Hazu means like for sure or probably. But it's like probably. a for sure kind of version of probably. So you're pretty certain when you say hazu. You're like you're like 99% version. And mm. hazu wa nai 
You know what Nye does? Uh, I'm not sure. You know Nye. <laughs> uh, for example, Tabedu means to Oh, no, eat. that's what I meant. Hasn't, I'm not sure. Oh, well, you're right. Hazu and I together is I'm not sure. Yep. I just was like, what does Nye mean? <laughs> you're like, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, Hazu and Nye means um, it, it's close to that. It actually mm. means probably not. Mm. Or it shouldn't be. It should not be um, true, basically. So you use it when something happens, when you're like, there's no way. No, that can't happen. The ought of that happening doesn't exist. Hazu wa nai. Because hazu means nine. like, for sure, this is like a 99%. So hazu wa nai is like negative 99%. But yeah. you normally use it when you're confused. You're like, what? That can't happen. Hazu wa nai. Um, okay. So we've definitely seen this before, which is what yo does in Japanese. For example, okami no yo ni hashiru. You know what a okami is? Okami, uh, I forgot. Yeah, it doesn't show it? up in our book. I just love the word okami, so I always force you to do it when it comes to it. <laughs> okami means wolf. Ah, uh, wolf. And what does hashiru mean? To run. So what do you think okami no yoni hashiru means? Uh, yoni hashiru. So like the wolf is running. It's not the wolf is running. Yoni 100% means it does not mean that. Yoni, yoni is how in Japanese they do similes. Which is spelled like smileys for some reason. Smileys. Smileys. Similes. I don't know why it's pronounced like that. Curse English. Ah. <laughs> um anyway this so this means to run like a wolf like this weird guy from this one anime is running he's, he's running mm. like a wolf or more like a demon maybe <laughs> Shut the uh so yoni means the this so yo you've seen yo na before uh which basically is like this yo is always a simile it's like like and we use ni when we're saying the way in which is like and we use na for when we're talking about nouns so like okami no yo na doll would be a doll that looks like a um uh a wolf. Okami no yo na <laughs> I mean, on top of my head. Um anyway, so no yo ni is how we do that. So how would you say to fly like a bat? We got komori and tobu. Tobu, yep. Um to fly like a bat so like um kawaii that's how you say it kawaii <laughs> komori komori uh komori yo ni tobu close so nyo is almost like a noun to be specific it's it's like an a not it's 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 like a nodative kind of even with it's like being ni ni basically means at this noun basically so toward our noun so if no yo is a noun how would the noun komori be attached to the noun yo uh with a no yes so it'd be komori no yo ni tobu to fly at so toward Yo, which means like. So flying toward the likeness of a bat would bat. mean to fly like a bat. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, what's this word? What could this be? Uh, I mean, it has those three cubes in yeah. the top bit. So it's not super helpful. Like, it's a little bit. So these right here normally means I, and this would be like hat, but... um. I would almost say this is more useful in like a metaphor kind of way, but like if this was like upside down, so if, if this is where your eyes are, then this, and then this is this is that. What is this thing? Uh, neck. So this thing, it's Kubi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, you see the kanji's not super helpful. Like I guess you could turn it upside down <laughs> to kind yeah. of do it, but. Yeah, uh, you know it's related to the face-ish area of a human being. Hi, <laughs> yeah, that's that could be. Okay, 
So now we have Jack talking again. Um, let's so let's read what happened. Uh, yeah. Or just yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Is that no or house? Because pretty uh, sure they looked exact same. So e. So you're talking about um yeah. Uh. And e can mean house. You're not gonna see that word very often. So throw it in the garbage. <laughs> um. Uh, theoretically, EA is like someone else's house, I guess, but you don't really see. It. You're more likely to see like oh Uchi or something. So Uchi is the actual word you normally see. Like in my experience from reading Japanese, I like never see EA. It's like throw, mm. throw it away. Uh, normally you see Uchi because Uchi is used for your house, your home, and O Uchi would be like someone else's home. It's also the time phrase and everything. So, uchi. Um, Ie is nice if you want to get the kanji because if I had to get the kanji from Uchi, I'd click it four times. But Ie, you just it's the only thing that pops up. Go once. But yeah, it, in general, just you 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 can ignore that. But yeah, this is Ia, which means yeah. no, no, nope. yeah. It can also kind of mean like I hate, like if a, if a woman says go like Ia, it's like yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but yeah. It's just no. Uh, continue. What does it say? Uh, yeah. Uh, so no. Hazua. Nai. Hazua nai. Perfect. Eh, Jack wa. Mmm. Kubi o. Nice. Eh, hitori go. Goto no. Yu ni. Tsubuyai. Tsubuyai ta. Nice. So, first off. Kubi o fute. So I vaguely mentioned this earlier. So kubi definitely 100% means neck. Do you know what yes. fute means? Fute. I don't. It means to you. shake. So ah. to shake a neck. That makes no sense in English at all. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck does that mean? I don't know. Um, this has the same meaning as to shake your head. Mm. So Shake your head. Similar. But different. Kubio futte. So Jack shakes his head and hitori goto no yoni ni tsubuyaita. You know what tsubuyaku means? Tsubuyaku was a word we did in the beginning. Yeah, we do this uh, word often. Um, here's the kanji for it. Got our kuchi. And whatever the heck this means. Ah, uh, the kuchi. <laughs> Hmm. Is it the mouth? I'm not yes. sure. Yes. Kuchi is hmm. the mouth. So we know this has to do with language. Because everything that has to do with language gets kuchi in it. Like you, for example, has kuchi. Yomu to read has kuchi. Kotoba. Kuchi. A- anything that has language like go, like nihongo, no go. Anything that has anything to do with languages is going to have a square in it. Which is the kuchi. Or a rectangle. Um, mm. So this right here means our mouth is being used. Uh, tubiyaku means to mutter. Ah, uh, yeah. Mata. So what did Jack mutter? Uh, yeah, so na wa hazunai. So, nah, this is impossible. Exactly. Nah, no way. Impossible. So the way he mutters was in a hirigoto no yoni. We just saw it no yoni not that long ago. That was our new grammar point. Well, old grammar point, but struggling grammar no point. Yoni. What is it? What is this? It's like. Whoa! You just used it in like, English. Like... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just used it in English. Perfect. There's our yoni in English. Yep. Um. So it's it's like like. So he muttered like he was doing a hitori goto. So really think about what are these, what is hitori and kotoba? <laughs> hitori goto. Hitori goto. Uh, talking to yourself. Yes, exactly. So Jack shakes his head and mutters as if he was talking to himself and he says, yeah, no, that's impossible. So no hazu wa nai. Um uh sona hazo wa nai is kind of more like a smarticle way to say moody. You've had ever heard that word? Moody. Moody moody. Yeah. Moody moody, 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 moody is like 
So so no way. So that's that's because Jack's talking. So if Annie was saying this, she'd be like, "Woody, Woody," if she was saying something was impossible. But their meanings are basically the same. It just kind of has a more smarticle. So na has one night. That is impossible versus possible. Okay. Um. So you don't know this word yet, but what does it have? It has kuchi. Yeah, so we know it has to do with the mouth, so I just want to test that. Mm. Um, what's this word? Uh, zukan. Nice, that was this guy. Picture dictionary, we yeah. have... Uh, uh, what was this? It's a eh, painting. Yep. How about this guy down here? Uh, kite. Perfect. Kite. How about this guy? Uh, kubi, which is neck. Perfect. So here's me picking that na you already kind of know a little bit about, which is negation. And we can, this is just some examples of how it works in Japanese. So what it is, is anai. For example, yobu means to call. Not the call on the phone, but the call out. Like, hey, Sam, what you doing? That's to yobu. Mm. Um, yobu. Not like, ring, ring, hello, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> no, never does. That's awesome. never used. Yeah. So it basically is normally a kind of loudish noise, but not a scream. Uh, you can also use it if you're summoning somebody, like, oh, May, Mary, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, like, some kind of summoning will also use Yobu. So to call out. Odd out there. To call out. So um, what's this word mean? If Yobu means to call out? This would be. Uh, something banai. Yes. So, so yobu means to call out. So yobanai means to not call out. Yobanai. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you think it too hard. So yeah, whenever you see nai, we already know it's going to be the negative form of the normal version. Um, mm. And grammar-wise, it's pretty easy. So boo right here. What is the consonant sound of boo? Mm. It's just a, but u. yeah it's but that's a consonant plus u. u over here we delete that u and we add in the i to get ba ba how about tomaru which becomes tomarimasu which becomes what tomaranai how did we get this ra right here uh the ri became a ra exactly because these both start with an R. Mm. R, R. Um, this right here is a do verb. So, midu becomes mimas. So, what does it turn mimasu, into? Minai. It's just gone. So, what do you, so, adieru means possible. Ariane. So, is ariane, is that a do verb or an u verb? We uh, tend just to look at the mas form and how it changed from the do verb. So, ariamas comes ariane. So, it's a ri. Yes, it is a do, do verb. Do verb, yep. Hi. So, how would this conjugate into negative form? Ariane. Perfect. Ariane. So, what does ariane mean? Uh, Not possible. Perfect. Impossible, yes. Impossible. So here we have, I believe, Jack talking still. What does he say? Uh, sonna, sonna koto. Arianai. Kitto. Kori mabarishi. What is that? Uh, Kori maboroshi. This is kore wa maboroshi. Kore wa maboroshi. Yeah, it's hard when the furigana is like long. <laughs> mm. It is mythical. Hi, Korewa. This is mythical. This, this, or in this case, I think um an illusion might be better. He's saying this is a phantom. Sounds kind of weird. Mm. This is a phantom. So I think in this case, illusion would be the best English translation in this specific context. But yeah, it's it is mythical. The idea is that if you see it, it must be in an illusion. Is where maboroshi comes from. So if you see Mew, it must be an illusion. It's a mythical Pokemon. There's no way you saw it. It's maboroshi. Possible. Possible. Yeah. 
So yeah, illusion in this case, I would say, would be the better English translation. But you're right, it does mean mythical. <laughs> Altogether, what does that mean? Uh, so like that's impossible. Exactly. It's yes. an illusion. Yep. How about kito? You know what that means? Kito. It's kind of in this way, I guess. So kito isn't this way. It means for sure. Sure. Oh, okay. For sure. Like 100%. Kito. Oh. Definitely. So he's saying this must be an illusion. He's basically added must to the sentence. So I'm not Such a thing as that. It's impossible. This must be an illusion. Ah. Uh... Okay, what's this word? Ko. What does it mean? What is ko mean on its own? What is ko? The kanji looks very similar. Oh, you've seen it many so times. No, <laughs> yeah. Many times. It's used everywhere in China. Mm -hmm. So ko means child. So, of course, ah. it shows up in the very easy kodomo, which you, use, which kodomo. you use for human children. It's also used in names like hanako, which means. Hanako. Hanako, which means flower child. It's a name. Mm. Um, it also shows up in gakuse or um, gakko, which means school, because, oh. you know, children go to school to learn. Mm -hmm. So the learning child. Um, it shows up in uh, koneko, which means baby kitten, or ko inu, which means puppy. Puppy. Um, so yeah, you had ko and then an animal and you get the baby any animal yeah. yeah any animal uh except for human which we have a own word which is called the so yeah ko means child and a lot of times people are like yeah it's like a kid i, I don't know maybe have a funny hairstyle or something hmm. i don't know <laughs> but yeah it's child uh oh what a, sorry i can't see my screen now i can see my screen okay here's another refresher this is te you We've seen similar things a lot for te you, but the sentence is sore o tobu yokuryu te you kyoryu mo itanda. What is this te you doing here? Te you. Hmm. Yokuryu te you kyoryu. Yokuryu te you kyoryu. Oh, okay. Um. So like a pterodactyl, ite you. You. It's speaking to a dinosaur. <laughs> That's a sure. good guess. So this could be a dinosaur that said Yokuryu, which would make it more like a Pokemon. But and normally, if that was going to happen, we'd get the kanji. We get the kanji you. Since we do not have the kanji, we know this is being used metaphorically. Mm. So the metaphorical of to say would be um, basically it is known as or what could be called or something like that. So kyoryu deyu yokuryu, I said it wrong, but like I, I wanted to underline it that way for English, is a dinosaur that is called yokuryu. Or we're defining a dinosaur as um, yokuryu. So yokuryu. We're, which, which you're right is the pterodactyl. So um a dinosaur known as pterodactyl or the dinosaur that is called pterodactyl and any kind of like translation similar to that we're basically defining yokoryu as a pterodactyl uh but yeah we do the dinosaur that is known as pterodactyl so teyu is basically used for names of things um earlier we also saw it with um fragu creek to you machi which what does that mean uh, the town of Frog Creek. Yeah, oh, the, the town city, of Frog Creek. I think town is better. I feel like they live town. in a small town. Uh, what's this word? It is ko, which is just child. Yeah. Nice. So, um, this is Annie talking. What does she say? Ja, ano komo maboshiro. Maboroshi. Maboroshi te. Oh, yeah. What happened to this word? Ah, mabarashi da, da te. Uh, you know. Nice. So over here, the kanji showed up, but it's basically you. So you're, this, I, I actually messed you up. This is the. Uh, Itte you. 
So this, this this is actually the the quotation te, not this thing, which is the name te for metaphors. So uh, that was me confusing you, but helping you in the future later on. So mm. Jack says this is an illusion. So he is fake quoting Jack here. So he's fake quoting Jack. So Jack didn't actually say anoko wa maboroshi da. However, this is a fake quote. He's saying like, oh, Jack, you would be saying this, wouldn't you be Jack, right? Mm. So what is he, so Ja, you know what Ja means? Ja is like then or like yeah. Ja something, something, something. Okay then, Jack. Anoko mo maboroshi da de you know? So would you say that anoko mo maboroshi? Would you? Um, I just added would you the make it work but, well in uh, yeah. English. For what uh, Jack would say. Yeah. She's making this more into like a statement with a like the no is kind of would you, I guess. It makes hmm. it into it makes it into a clarification question. Uh I'm very bad at when I say stuff in English, adding that higher intonation. No. So adding the question would I think works okay ish. But yeah, what does anoko mean? You just learn ko. Anoko. Uh, that child. Yes. Yeah, so that child mo. You know what this mo is doing? It's a particle. Uh, anoko mo. I don't remember. It means um, I don't know if I've ever taught it to you. So. <laughs> oh okay. You, you might not know just because I haven't told you. <laughs> I should probably make a slide for it, but it just means also. But also. it's like a particle, so that so it it tends to replace um. Like the almost subject, the whatever is from the last sentence, kind of. Mm. So, um, he says like koko wa baboroshi. So like this here is a illusion. So if he replaces this here with anoko, so mo shows up when you're substituting a new word into a different sentence, as been mentioned before. So in English, it'd be also. also. Like oh, I went to the party yesterday. Sam also went to the party yesterday. That that's literally like you just you're taking the sentence someone said before. I went to the party, and I decided to say Sam also went to the party. Also, so yeah, it's it's literally the same as also. So that child as well also is a maboroshi. What does that mean? A maboroshi. Um, maboroshi. 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 Anzang. What is a maboroshi? It is mythical or an illusion. Yes, it is. It is an illusion. So you're saying, oh, so you're saying that that child's also an illusion? Yes, that's exactly what that said. This be in English. So this is that clarification. So you're saying. So you're saying that that child as well is an illusion. Since we are apparently hallucinating. Okay. Here's a new word. What does this mean? This is hmm, met, which is just your eyes. It does mean your eyes. And here's just a little picture of me going, look, meh. It's the same. And you do. They both have eyes. So obviously, if you took your eyes out of your human body, they would no longer be able to see. But in your human body, if, if you have your eyes, you can now see. But you already hmm. know me do so. Uh, so I'm sure this one will be super easy. But yeah, you rip the thing that lets you see. That's right. Hmm. Take, take away the body. Um, so what does this say? Uh, Jack to Annie wa mato no shita ni me o yatta. The meo yatta means to turn your eyes toward. So what did they turn their eyes toward? Uh, mato no shita, under the window. Perfect. So Jack and Annie turn their eyes to underneath the window. What's this word? Yep. Uh, oki. What does that Just mean? Big. Yeah, oki. So now okay. I have these three words that look that kanji that look very similar. Which is um, which similar. one's this one? This is uh Moody or it's tree. The yes, forest. Mori. Yes. Mori. Mori. That's the one. Yes, yes. I was like Moody. I was like mm. <laughs> Moody. Uh what's this guy? Uh something to the person with Hitori. I'm not sure. 
Mm, this one right here is the O from Oki. Ah, big. Yes. Right. Um, person would be if you took off the arms. That looks much better. There, there's yeah. our there's our human. That's our hito right there. Yep. But yeah, when you have a human being spreads their arms out loud when they have to fight against the bear, they're getting big. Mm. <laughs> um, big. what's this one? Uh hon. Hi, hon. So yeah, so so big things such as big things with a line down the middle would be a tree. And the origin of all must be huge, or books are huge in their um amount. Or oi. <laughs> yeah. This oh. guy is big. Um, this has different readings as well, which is a little bit confusing. For example, dai and dai suki is the same. Uh, that dai is, is the same thing. Yeah. Uh, Suki is like so. Dai suki means love. Very much like. Very much like like like. So dai just means big, but it can be read differently. It's not just oh, it's also dai and also tai. So it's one of those like annoying kanji where you almost have to know the word in order to know how it's pronounced. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's read. What does this say? This is. Katsuno Close. Honno. So something I saw that um ah that I think is like super useful to tell you now. Sorry if that was hard to hear because my kashi. Okay, so you're right. It's kashi. But basically, someone told me that the way things are written. So this right here, she has dots right here. Like this is the order you'd write it in, right? Yeah. So she is also written that way. It starts here and it goes down. Um, two, on the other hand, goes this way. Yep. So when you write two, the lines also go that way. Uh. And this also works for soul, which, see, doot doot. And, um, mm, which is doot doot. Crazy. I was like, what? I didn't know that. <laughs> And now it kind of makes more sense why they look like the way they do. But yeah, that, that was like the most important thing I learned um the last month. <laughs> I mean, I rarely yeah. ever make the mistakes because my name in Japanese is Simulan. So I have the C and the N in my name. So I know the ones that are not in my name are the, 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 mm -hmm. uh, the, the other one. But I was like, <laughs> wow, that's so useful. But yeah, now you can start reading. Uh, Kashi no. Hon no. Oops. That's not Hon. Here's Hon. That's Hon. What's that? What could this be? The tree. Be? Yes. Mori. 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 Yeah. Um, so Mori is tree. However, in this case, this is Forest. heat. So when you think of Mori, I, I didn't correct you last time. I like, it just flowed through. <laughs> so Mori actually has three trees in it. Oh, okay. Now that's not 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 yeah. like, been mentioned, you're like, hey, you're... <laughs> Yep, so we got the tree, tree, and tree. That one is the Mori. But only one tree is... Only uh, one tree. So tree. also, if you see two trees, that's not a Mori, but it's almost a Mori. <laughs> it's, like it's, a, it's like a grove. Many trees. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a, a couple of trees. Like 10 trees. Or a mm. hundred or something. Um, I think maybe you're talking like, you know, on the side of the railroad with them, there'd be a bunch of trees like that. Maybe that would get that. But anyway, let's begin again. What does it say? Kashi no ki no nemoto ni potato don ga. Hmm. Which one was this? This is a big oki. Yeah, yeah, nice. That's the one. Yep. Okina. Oh. Tsuba, tsubas, tsubachiki. Tsubasa. Tsubasa. Oh, hirogete. Ute, uteiru. Ah, tatteiru. I don't know why I didn't have the kanji there for you. Okay, so first off, kashi is evergreen. I'm not going to make you learn that. But what does kashi no tree mean? Kashi no tree. So, like, evergreen tree. Exactly. Nemoto basically means the base of the tree. It's kind of talking about where the roots are, basically, but not like underground where the roots are, just like this general area. 
So mm. we're at the Kashino tree in this general area. Um, I'll do a different color for that. And we see a putteradon. Putteradon. What is the putteradon doing, do you think? It is... You know what tateru means? Tateru, to stand up. Yep, it is standing, and its tsubasas are hirogeru. Its wings are turning. Mm. That That's would be mawaru. Mawaru. Um, hirogeru. Some, uh, hirogeru. Some other thing you can hirogeru would be the pages of a book. So if you have a tojiru book, you're not higeru. But if you akeru a book, the book is hi- hirogetad. It's opening kind of plus. Turning. Specifically, it means to be spread wide. Um. Spread wide. So it says at the base of the Kashino tree, the Putra Don is is standing with its wings spread out wide, and their wings are humongous. They're huge. They yep. are huge. Um, and this is where we're kind of gonna stop. We have three minutes. So what do you do you remember what yep. Yobu meant? Mentioned it earlier. Yobu is to fly. I want to say that's, that. That's actually that's yobu. tobu. That's tobu. tobu. Okay, yeah. Tobu, which yobu. does have a B and an O over there. Uh, it's to call. Yes, it is to call. We got our thing right there. So I'm not sure what kind of kanji can help. We kind of have a little human right here. Maybe he has a microphone and he's like, hey! A mic. Hey! Yeah. Maybe these are two big-ass speakers. <laughs> His voice gets projected hmm. out of. But yeah, Yobu is to call. And as you can see, this is me just being like, look, Kuchi! Yeah. Super important Kuchi. kanji. Kuchi, a mouse. Hi. Um, and yeah, that's where we're going to be pausing because we don't really have the time to do another one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll be saying ya next week. Um, any quick questions before we run out of time? Uh yeah, there was one. Oh, yeah. I forgot it. Ooh, what um, could it be? Ah. <laughs> uh, what was the word? Ah. Kotoba. Kotoba. Yeah, language. Kotoba. Word. Yeah, not dialect. Can I just use it as yeah, not dialect. Can I just use it as speech? Because that covers language and words. Yeah, sp- speech could work. Yeah, I think I think speech could work. His speech is. His- I just in English, whenever I hear the word speech, it makes me think of like a speech. A speech, yeah. <laughs> which which it doesn't mean that, but it is speech as in speech in general. <laughs> yeah. So that that is correct. Um, it can also refer to just like a word, like a single word is a kotoba. <laughs> but um, anything speech, like yeah. So speech is is pretty good, I would say, as a where to kind of set it in English. But yeah, nothing fully normally translates one hundred percent. Yeah. in other languages so it's always good to be kind of loose when you define things so i normally pick like one definition but i always go like it's something like speech something like speech yeah something. just say like i go like this is something like calling but not calling on the phone calling like hey but it also you know shows up in yobidasu which means to summon which is a little bit different than saying hey um and over so- here it's yobikakita which means to call out to somebody so it's specifically doing the hey to Kaketa. you person, person. just going oi but yeah uh yeah kotoba oh, speech I... is a good way of doing it speech mm-hmm. that's okay. it well bye see you next bye-bye. week bye-bye yep